right, so welcome back, folks. Welcome back to the Boost by Rock production facility is located in historic Nashville, Tennessee. So I spend a lot of time on Instagram, um, and there's a couple of great accounts I follow. Uh, Duke's Heldsburg in California, great bar, have some really humorous uh, bartenders. Uh, they introduced me to this drink. It's called a Naked and Famous. Naked and Famous was made by Joaquin Simo in Death and Company, and it's kind of a combination of a paper plane Ooh, those are good. And the last word. Oh, those are good. All right. So you put them together and you kind of get a cool one. So it is an equal parts cocktail. So equal parts. So I don't care if you use, we're going to use three quarters of an ounce. If you don't care if you use three quarters of an ounce, two ounces, six gallons, 14 trailers, you use the same proportions to keep it right. Uh, lime juice. Lime juice freshly squeezed off of our new Breville Citrus Pro Max Amazing 15 pound lemon lime citrus killer amazing three quarters of an ounce and yes i'll be doing a whole show on that juicer it's that cool aperol aperol that uh, italian aperitif three quarters of an ounce all right so here's the weird one we're going to use mezcal uh and this is un momento mezcal un momento is a nashville based company that goes to Oaxaca to get uh, tequila. And fortunately for me, unfortunately for you, if you're not in the Nashville area, this is where this is available. It's excellent. Highly recommended. Come to Nashville, spend all your money, buy a bunch of tequila, and go home. Three quarters of an ounce. All right, now I don't care where you are, the hard one to get, any chartreuse. This is yellow chartreuse. Uh, I was in the middle of nowhere, went into a liquor store, and I was like, you've got chartreuse? It had half an inch of dust on it, and obviously nobody in the county knew what this stuff was. I did. I bought it, and it's mine, all mine. But if you come over, I'll share it. All right, three quarters of an ounce. There we go. We're going to shake it up. Tin already had uh, ice in it. There we go. Now, there are people out there that don't like Mezcal. I'm not going to say the production staff does not like Mezcal. I'm not going to say dear friend Stephanie does not like Mezcal. No, I'm not going to say that. You could use tequila instead of Mezcal. Now, you're not making this cocktail correctly, but if you like everything else, hey, do what you do. I don't care. Obviously, a lot of color from the, uh, the Aperol. I'm going to put a little lime wheel from Speakeasy Dehydrated Citrus Products. Good looking drink. Good looking drink. Let's try it out here. Best part of the show. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Now. If the chartreuse was a little easier to find, everybody would be drinking these and they throw everything else in their bar away. Doggone, come on, monks. More chartreuse. More chartreuse. Anyway, folks, thanks for coming in. Subscribe. If you think about it, please like the video. It helps us. But cheers. Stay safe and enjoy the naked and famous. Because if you're famous, you might as well be naked. Delicious.